And so, you know, you want to, if you're looking at a person that you're going to talk to, that you want to hire as a coach, you want to kind of listen to what they're saying in terms of, if you hear people saying things like, let me show you what I did on how I got $150,000 in credit cards, right? And I can do the same thing for you. Be wary, because that means that that person is teaching you a strategy that's based on their own personal experience, which may be limited to just one di dimension of, of the industry. Of the also, the, also the times, you know, there's times where banks are just not going to be lending as much as we may think. And then there's other times where lending is really expanded. So it's a, a fluctuating market that can that can change. So staying up to date with those things are important. So yeah. now, and yeah. then you're also talking about really just thinking long term, what's your strategy, what's your goal before getting involved with a coach, at least having some kind of an idea of why do you need $150,000 of debt? Or do you really only need 30? Right? Or why do are we trying to get a half a million dollars worth of a debt or is the goal to get as much debt as humanly possible or exactly what we need or percentage above what we need for buffer, right? So being able to have that where like, let's not get sold on how much someone was able to get their community or a group of people in a period of time that, that really shouldn't even be a selling point. It, more of like, what are we solving for and how quickly did we get there? I think is more of a better, um, I would I would say a better approach in, in my opinion if I'm you know trying to access it. So that's really really good stuff that you mentioned there. Um, the third the third piece was biz credit with net terms. Is that feeding into building business credit of the three things that we mentioned? Okay yeah. okay so it's not a separate thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And so the the reason I wanted to add that on there is because they again they'll people will say that there's no value in those accounts and that it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make sense to me how someone can say that because if you can get access to five, ten, twenty thousand dollars with no interest and you have a net payback of 30, 60 or 90 days. And when you use that account, you get rewards points back. How is this not a value to you? There's no interest. You're getting rewards points and you now can float cash flow for that 30, 60 or 90 days.